I can't stand the hypocrisy of the British media. I just can't stand it. It's too much. It is too much. The gaslighting is off the charts. Today, it is being reported by Carnival of so-called expert Eden Richard, who is close to Kate Milton's family. He is saying that Prince William was spotted enjoying a low-key pub trip with Kate's mother, Carol Milton, during the Easter break. In my family, what I find so supercritical is that not a single carnival of so-called expert is asking this question. Why is Prince William going to enjoy some time in a pub, at a pub, while his wife, Kay Moulton, is getting treatment after she claimed that my family, she allegedly had cancer. Why is nobody asking this question? Why is Prince William going to enjoy himself at a pub while his wife, Kay Moulton, allegedly is getting treatment for my family, cancer. My family, why is no one asking that question? Because the thing is, I saw a video of this Karen who my family said some things that honestly I don't like one bit about Megan. And my family, I want you to hear this please. I want you to hear this please. And these people are quiet when William goes to a pub to have fun. When the royal family are doing their own things, having fun, going to Bahrain to watch my family F1, Formula 1 racing, they have no issues. But when it's Megan living her life, minding a business, they have a problem. My family, can you please just hear this, Karen? My family, please. Middleton, as we know, is very sick with cancer. This one shows up at a children's hospital? My family. And then the person, this Karen, doesn't even have the audacity to mention Megan's name. She refers to Megan as this one. Instead of Megan calling her by her name. My family. And, and really, I must call out this blatant level of hypocrisy. The thing is, all these individuals are quiet. When Eugenie, Zara, my family, Mike Tindall, all of them are going to Bahrain to watch the Formula One race car, my family, you know, drivers driving their F1 cars. My family. They are quiet when that happens. But when Megan lunches and Megan Rivera Orchard, they're like, Megan, the timing is so bad. Megan, why are you going to a hospital? To read books to children who my family would have appreciated someone coming in just to check upon them, to bring a smile to their faces, which Megan did. My family, when she went to the children's hospital in LA. To my family read books and also bring a smile to the kids who are there. Which Megan did, my family. Which Megan did. And then you're having a carnival of so-called expert, a Karen actually, complaining that Megan went to a children's hospital while Kate has cancer. 
However, they are quiet when William is going to a pub to have fun, to enjoy himself. In my family, I must call out this blatant level of hypocrisy. First of all, Kate and Meghan have never ever been close. And if Kate's sister, actually, who was spotted on a vacation, going out you know, on a vacation with her husband and kids and having fun, why can't Meghan have fun? Why can't Meghan live her life? If Kate's brother is busy sending some presents, some presents, some goodies to Ellen Richard, that way he can say good things about him and Kate Moulton in his column for Daily Mail, why can't Meghan proceed with living her life? If Kate's family are having fun, going to pubs to have a drink, to have fun, to enjoy themselves, why can't Megan enjoy herself? I'll tell you why. They don't think that Megan should enjoy herself because Megan is a woman of color and they can't stand seeing Megan happy. They can't stand seeing Megan thriving. My family. And honestly, what they're saying is just, you know, shameless. Shameless, my family. It's just shameless. You know? I think is. There is no picture of Prince William going on this trip to the pub with his mother, Carol Milton. However, different tablets are reporting about what carnival of so-called expert Eden Richard has said. And there are no pictures of William and Kate's mother going to this pub. There are no pictures of this, my family. And then the thing is, because there are no pictures, just, just, just hear what Aiden Richard, my family, said. Somehow, he had to include Harry and Meghan in all this story. Something which has nothing to do, my family, with Harry and Meghan. But as always, they just can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan living their lives, minding their own business. And for them to get clicks, for them to get engagement, Somehow they've got to mention Harry and Meghan's names. Now my family, Eden Richard, K. Mutoshia leader in chief, says this. And I quote, The Prince Harry said that he and Meghan fled Britain in the treaty, fearing for their lives. It is brother Prince William seems able to enjoy a pretty normal life. Indeed, I'm told that William popped into a pub in North Norfolk at the weekend with his mother-in-law, who is said to have been staying with Prince William and Kate for Easter. And a patron tells Ed and Richard, and I quote, that it was all very low-key, with no great fanfare. And that he just walked in and through the pub. He appeared to be with Carol Milton. And that there was no sign of Catherine, who is being treated for an undisclosed form of cancer. My family, once again, Kay Muslim said that cancer had been found present. My family during her abdominal surgery had been past tense and she said that she's undergoing preventative chemotherapy and once again this is what my family preventative chemotherapy means now preventative chemotherapy is meant to kill any remaining microscopic cancer cells a surgeon could not see and may have missed, and to destroy any cells that may have escaped and spread to other parts of the body. Basically, it means that my family, Kate, doesn't have cancer. My family. And what Kate said about my family allegedly having cancer was in the past tense. 
you know and based on her use of preventative chemotherapy clearly what she was saying that if she had any cancer present it was removed during surgery meaning right now she doesn't have cancer in my family right now i am puzzled that not a single carnival of so-called expert is asking why is william going to enjoy himself while his wife allegedly my family is undergoing treatment after having had cancer why is william going out to have fun why why is this happening you know in my family we must call out the hypocrisy because Wikimedia want Megan to somehow be the one who is thoughtful of Kay Moulton, how she feels, how she is. But then, my family, it appears they don't mind when William goes out to have fun. If Harry Megan right now was spotted, you know, going on a vacation to, let's say, my family, you know, Costa Rica or any other country in the world. UK media will be complaining about the timing. They're like, why are Harry Megan going on a vacation while Kate has cancer? Then, right now, why is it? Are they so quiet when William is going to a pub to have fun? Why are they so quiet? Actually, what they're doing is somehow, you know, applauding Prince William going out to enjoy himself. My family. While his wife is undergoing treatment you know my family hypocrisy must always be called out and i'm happy to call out the hypocrisy that i see from my family you know prince william and the other carnival of so-called experts and also my family in addition to that there is something else that my family that has happened. BBC has rejected an application. My family, a freedom of information request from Unity News Network for information of whether AI technology was used in the Kate Milton video that was released to announce that K. Milton allegedly had cancer. And my family, here's what BBC have said, my family, as they refuse to respond to Unity News Network. Freedom of information request, my family. Here's what they are saying. And something suspicious is going on. Something extremely suspicious is going on. My family, hear what has been said. And I quote by BBC. Information that relates to the BBC's output or information that supports and is closely associated with these creative activities is considered to be held by the BBC. For the purposes of art, journalism, or my family literature. And that such information held by the BBC and other public service broadcasters falls outside of the scope of the Freedom of Information Act. It's important that the BBC is an independent and impartial news organization except clearly what they're doing is that they're doing the bidding of the royal family you know that's what they're doing my family because really what UNN news were asking for is just a yes or no response did the BBC use deep fake technology yes or no bbc news refused to give an answer at all whether 
deep fake ai technology was used in my family and what does that tell you what message does that send because people don't trust this video even one bit they don't trust this video even my family one bit you know and it would have been nice nice my family if bbc simply answered yes it's true or no it isn't true that no you know deep fake technology was used that's all they had to do but my family they prefer to keep on hiding things and people are asking questions people are talking my family you know and they're saying once again that the video is was a fake my family this here this three things i want you to notice that top shoulder that stays high and never resolves itself the highlights of her hair don't really change when she moves her head that's not possible the other thing when people talk your nasolabial folds will move along with you notice how hers hardly move and when they when they try when they they don't move here from this angle ever ever okay when they start to move here they glitch now i'm specifically trying to speak without using my voice to act like her but yeah ai this is ai I've got my family nobody believes that the video released by the palace of kate announcing that my family shared cancer is real people are saying it's a fake my family most people are saying that and my family once again i don't know if it's real or fake i i can't say with complete my family certainty i don't know but all this hiding like for example bbc refusing our freedom of if for your request just a question to answer a question whether or not deep fake ai technology was used yes or no they refuse it to even answer that my family you know that tells you that something fishy is going on and also on top of that don't forget that getting images added their own family it does not about the video being supplied by my family you know a third party and that you know my family it may not comply with my family you know their rules my family that's what you know they said let me read you my family what they said they said this clip this hannot clip was provided by a third party organization and may not adhere to getting images into the policy in this handout video given provided by crystal palace catherine speaks in a recorded personal video message providing an update on her health recorded on march 20 2024 in windsor and aired on march 2 2024 in london england my family you know they're saying that the clip was given to them by a third party organization and may not adhere and may not adhere to get images editorial policy my family that's what they've said that's what they have said and my family all this stuff you know they just one simple fact no one has been able to catch a glimpse of Kay Moulton for months now. She has never ever been seen publicly at all completely. And my family, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why can't the palace just even, you know, show her walking even? Just, just a walk, my family. You know, and for her to get seen by different, you know, media outlets and different people in my family seeing her face to face to prove or confirm that she's alive you know that's all the palace needs to do but that's not what they're doing that is not what they're doing there is a cover-up going on the family there's a cover-up that truly is 
you know, going on. In my family, allow me to show the video of, you know, the person who made a freedom of information request to BBC, which has been my family, you know, denied. BBC have denied to respond. I've said they are not responding at all. What he said about my family, BBC refusing, you know, a freedom of information request about Kate's video, my family. Kindly, please, my family, look at this, please. You know, my family, I want you to be able to see this. Something fishy is my family going on. Guys, David Clouse here. I hope you're all well. So look, we'll wait quiet about Kate Middleton for a couple of weeks, didn't it? But now they were supposed to be coming back. Well, she wasn't, but William was supposed to be coming back after Easter. He's got no royal engagements. BBC have come back, said they're not going to answer our freedom of information request. Now, they, they could have. They could have just said, no, it wasn't, but they didn't. Something clearly going on here. I just go back to what happened, the series of events, the sequence that led to this point. Death of Thomas Kingston. William missing an event. Kate not being seen since the 25th. The Mother's Day photo. The ridiculous farm video where it was an actress. And then the AI generated video of Kate Middleton as well. All they can do is just say, how can you bully her? You're just a bully and leave her alone. Oh no. They, I told you what would happen. They bought themselves some time. What's the next few weeks going to bring? They're clearly covering something up. There's clearly a campaign of subterfuge taking place. See what place? And I, I just, as I say, I hope she's fine. I hope she's all right. But if she was, they've certainly gone about it in a very odd way, haven't they? I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. My yeah. family, you've had yourself something fishy. Is going on behind the scenes. The royal family are trying to cover up something. And I do believe that's why they use the C word to ensure people kept quiet and stopped asking questions. That's why they sent out their carnival of so called expert, the PR arm of the royal family, the rota, to go after anyone who simply asked a question about. Where is Kate Middleton? To tell them to keep quiet. To ensure that no one asks again questions about Kate's whereabouts. And that's why the language, the wording used by the palace, my family, of that video of Kate Middleton, I don't know if it's real or fake, my family, the wording used clearly was meant to say Kate currently doesn't have cancer. It tells you the C word was used to keep people quiet. And my family, it bought the royal family some time. Do I believe that the royal family, that Kate would lie, that she, my family, had cancer? I believe it 100%. I believe that the royal family manipulated the press so much. I believe the royal family lie to the public so much and i believe william is responsible for right now k Moulton not being seen publicly i believe that my family as well and right now you are hearing some carnival of so-called experts being briefed oh william was seen here at a pub no picture oh Keith and, Keith and william was seen at a helicopter no picture nothing no photo no evidence Kate has never ever been seen publicly for months now, for months now. And what message does that send? My family, it sends a message that indeed something serious happened. The whole family can't even, you know, produce a video, a real picture of Kate Moulton because something serious happened. My family. And they're using the BBC who can't even confirm or deny if the video of Kim Morton is real or fake. Even BBC is being used to cover up for William, to protect him because he is the heir of my family to the throne. And that isn't right. If William did something wrong, then my family, he should answer for what he has done. 
he should not be protecting my family. And also on top of that, my family. Today also I learned something. I learned something today also about what the whole family have been doing behind the scenes. That also, you know, very, very fishy. My family. You know? And my family, allow me to read you this headline. Please, my family. You know, I want to read you this uh, headline, my family. That I just, my family, read and found out some very, very interesting, you know, thing that just my family happened. We are learning that a senior palace courtier from Buckingham Palace demanded assurance that King Charles could not be prosecuted under new Welsh law. Under new Welsh law, my family. Once again, I repeat, a courtier demanded assurances that the king, the king, the reigning monarch, whoever it is, could not be prosecuted under a new Welsh law. William and Kimmerton are the prince and princess of Wales. And there have been so many you know, articles that have come out asking this question, could William be Prosecuted if he did something wrong. And now you're hearing this stuff. You know, whereby a courtier is demanding assurances that a king can't be prosecuted under new Welsh law. Why is that? This is being done to my family protect whoever sits as monarch from any prosecution. But then why now? Why now? Why are we hearing this right now? Because something is being done to protect and cover for Prince William. There have been rumors that Charles may abdicate for Prince William. Why? 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 Is it because William did something and they are all trying to protect him? And the only way that they think they can keep him safe is if Charles somehow you know, my family abdicates the throne, which I don't think Charles will ever, ever do, even for Prince William and my family. But really, it must be something that he did. It must be something that, you know, William must have done. And everyone is trying to cover up for him. You know, and my family, that isn't right. If William has done something wrong, then he must, for once in his life, be held accountable for whatever it is he has done. My family. And the more he feels like he's untouchable, the more he becomes even, you know, more of a bad person than he already, my family, is, in my opinion. And my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. Why do you think BBC is refusing to even answer a simple question is or was the video released of Kim Wooten created by AI? Yes or no? BBC can't even answer that question. Why do you think that is my family? Why do you think that is my family? And why is it right now we are hearing that courtiers are speaking to my family, you know, the world government, asking or to, to ensure the king can't be prosecuted under a new Welsh law. Why is it happening right now? Why? And Kate hasn't been seen for months. Kate hasn't been seen for months. And this is happening right now. Why? They are buying time for something. They are buying time for something. Now my family, I do hope Kate is alive for a kid's sake. But honestly, you know, right now, in my opinion, things do not look so great for what I am thinking about, you know, what may have happened to Kimuton right now. You know, my family, you know, all the conclusions that I'm coming up with, my family, you know, don't look good. Don't really, you know, look good, my family. It is worrying. It is concerning. 
And I do hope that kid is okay in my family. For kid's sake. And that William did not do something to cause her harm. In any way. Now my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily, Bedana, Andrea, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Dave never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all my family. It is high time that in the UK, even if you are the heir to the throne or the monarch, if you do something wrong, it is high time that UK media stop protecting those who my family engage in unlawful conduct. But sadly, <laughs> UK media themselves engage in unlawful conduct like phone hacking, unlawful gathering of information from family. And, 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 you know, and no one really they get along with the royal family because even they engage in criminal activity. And that's wrong. And that is wrong. You know? And I do hope for the UK's sake that one day they have, you know, a media industry that my family has gone through proper adequate reforms to ensure that no one can be bullied or really based on TV by people who call themselves reporters, my family, in the UK. I do hope for the public sake that there are media reforms in the UK. My family, that's my hope. You know, because UK media outlets also should not be allowed to engage in unlawful conduct with family and then bully anyone who sues them like what they've done to Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, that should not be allowed. You know? Now, my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. You know? Tell me, family, your thoughts about what we have just discussed. It appears that the farm is buying some time. They are buying some time for something. And my family, it's worrying. It is worrying, you know, what is going on behind the scenes right now. It is really worrying, my family. You know, Kate hasn't been seen for months, for months publicly, for months. She hasn't been seen. What is going on? What is happening? What did William do to her? My family, it is worrying to think like this, but, you know, it is something which my family, we must think this way because the royal family refuses to just simply be honest, to just, just simply be truthful, you know? So really, no one can blame us for asking questions about what really is going on my family, behind the scenes, behind the scenes, my family. No one can blame us, you know? Now, my family... All I hope for is that even though I am pissed off at Kim Morton for the pain she put Megan through, I do hope she's okay. My family. Now tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your family. And for Megan, I do hope that she continues living her life. My family. And never ever pose her life for kids' sake or for William's sake. Whatever goes on back in the UK, my family, Megan should continue their life. Always. And never pause her projects, her plans for Kate's sake or for William's sake, my family. Because when Megan and Harry lost their child, he never saw William and Kim Wooten posing any of their plans for Megan's sake. He never ever, my family saw that. And not a single carnival of so-called expert asked William to pose his plans because Harry and Megan lost their child. My family, Harry and Meghan, keep on living your lives. Keep on living your best lives. You know? Keep on living your best lives. And never let anyone tell you to pose your plan for, to accommodate Kim Wilson and William. Never ever do such a thing. And Harry and Meghan, we love you, support you, always and forever. And tell me kindly your thoughts once again about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also... Lily Petana and Raglan and all of you members who are at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to this video. And may not performed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana. Ever prosper. Stay tuned to this video. Love you awesome forever. Hello, members of 
This is Kofami TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zuko Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.